guy, Bill, who takes pictures at like Commercial Drive and Granville Station. I'll chat with him sometimes. And he was like the art director for Yellow Pages for like 30 years. And he has the craziest stories about just the old ways in which they used to do things. And it's just awesome. Like, I love that. And these are things, these are like, like techniques that took people years to perfect, you know, tens of like tens, 20 years to perfect. And they're just gone, you know, just shoved aside. And that's that. That blows my mind. I love stuff like that. I wish we could keep doing that. Because you're working with your hands, right? Like, we're so displaced now as people using computers. It's ridiculous. This is just me trying to figure out, like, letter styles. And I was, like, looking at them, like, I really like this. And these marks here. And, like, that messiness is, yeah, definitely something I've always, like, tried to cultivate. Maybe that's, like, some kind of rebellion. Or I've always just been inspired by, like, those artists in, like, New York and San Francisco like those skaters and those punks and stuff and they're always did that kind of style so maybe it started out as just me like when i was younger just mimicry and like really like into those guys but now i'm definitely pushing more yeah more towards like a a controlled use of that mess when i look at the work that i do i feel like i've seen it a million times over i feel like i'm constantly learning and so i feel like nothing i'm doing is is truly like invigorating or fresh, you know? Because maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm self-defeating. You know? That, but maybe that'll just keep me pushing further and farther. The people's work that is similar to mine is exciting and it is fun, and I really do enjoy it. And I think that the community of artists in Vancouver that are producing work, influenced by like the punk community and the skateboard community, and drug culture and drinking culture and youth culture in general, that's that's like the calling card of this era. And it's been the calling card of every youth era for a long time. People in general are shifting these days and they're, they, they're tired of, yeah, like mass produced goods and they want, want things that are crafted and made with care. And they want passionate people standing behind the products they buy. And that's an awesome shift. It's, it's been a long time coming, but at the same time, just like any other like major shift in popular culture, like. There's a lot of shallowness to it as well, which is a little bit annoying. And in the design industry, it's the epitome of shallowness, right? Just people trying to just basically replicate the style. The people making this art now just want to do it to make it, to, to express their creativity. And, and of course, everyone wants to sell work. But maybe at the end of the day, I know, for example, I think like, I'd be fine if I never actually sold a piece. I just want to make something because it's kind of in there, kind of eating away at me at the end of the day. Hey, I'm Brandon Cotter, and I'm a jack of all trades.